Professor Horror. Scary Stories. Every year, I go on an annual camping trip. I always go alone. It is one of my favorite trips of the year. Smelling the fresh air, picking all the edible berries I can find, it always makes me feel like I am one with nature. Last weekend, I went on my annual camping trip, but something different happened. I did the usual berry picking, fly fishing, and just laying out in an open field, but at nighttime, my usual routine was interrupted. Now, when I say I go alone on these trips, I mean I am the only human, but I always bring my dog, Caesar, just to keep me company. Well, I went to bed business as usual, and it remained that way for about four hours. Then, around 2 a.m., I was awoken to Caesar growling. It wasn't a revealing growl or one that was meant to scare any predators. It was a growl that was slowly digressing into a cry. When I woke up, I checked my phone to see the time and figured Caesar just needed to go out or something. So I began to put my clothes on to take him out of the tent. But that is when I noticed he was staring at something. He was staring so intently, so focused, like he knew something was where it was not supposed to be. I peered out the small mesh window in my tent to see what all the fuss was about when I saw that my fire from the evening was now active. I put that fire out. There was no doubt in my mind. What the hell, I thought, and began to reach for my tent zipper when Caesar nudged my hand with his nose. I looked back at the fire and observed it closer. That's when I saw him. It was a man, maybe 5'10", and probably about 45 years old. He was just sitting on a log right next to my fire. I don't know how I missed him. I must have been too focused on the fire to notice him, but I saw him now, and he didn't see me. I began to observe him, curious, but also cautious. I wanted to believe that he was just a guy cooking a meal and camping, like I was, and he just thought this camp was idle. After a couple of minutes of observing him, I decided it was okay to get up and go talk to him, just to let him know that I was there too. That's when he began whispering. It wasn't to anyone in particular, and I couldn't make out a word of what he was saying, but he was whispering. No one was around him. He was talking to himself. After noticing this, I stopped myself from opening the tent and decided to observe him closer than I had before. I began to notice how he moved. It was different than a normal human's movement. His head twitched almost like he was a squirrel, always on guard, ready to pounce whenever. This fast twitching and solo whispering got me on edge. There was just something off about this man. As I was watching him, Caesar hit the side of the tent, and the tent began to make a rustling sound. The man looked over immediately, and once again, not like the normal human. When he noticed someone else was with him, he turned immediately towards our tent, way faster than any human head I've ever seen. And the weirdest part was, he went from not knowing I was near him to making direct eye contact with me. When the tent moved, he turned and looked at me, not the tent, not Caesar, but me straight in the eyes. I was immobilized with fear. I didn't know what to do, and that's when he, he smiled. Similar to all of his other mannerisms, his smile was not like any other humans. He smiled from ear to ear with out of place white teeth that didn't match his dirty exterior. The man turned the rest of his body, keeping his head that was at first twisted backwards completely still so that his whole body was now facing me. He stood up and made this weird pose. I would compare it to someone trying to mock a chimpanzee in a zoo. He had both of his feet spread out far too wide and his arms followed suit and in this unnatural pose, he hobbled over to my tent. I was paralyzed with fear. I thought in my head, run and take Caesar with you. But I just couldn't bring myself to move. The man continued until he was about five feet away from my tent, staring directly into my soul with the most unnatural posture I've ever seen a human take. I guess Caesar was paralyzed with fear too because he didn't make a sound or move a muscle. We both stood there, staring at this man, hoping for God knows what, just that the situation would end somehow. Finally, after what felt like 10 minutes, the man began to laugh like a child full of glee. 
like a daughter on a Christmas morning who got the American girl doll she wanted. Like a son who got up to play ball with his dad that he hasn't seen in two months. It was one of the most gleeful laughs I've ever heard, and the worst part was it was out of key. This was a fully grown man with a laugh that resembled a seven-year-old. He then stood upright, maintained his grin, and walked away out of our sight. I couldn't sleep the rest of the night, and in the morning, I walked down to my car much faster than I normally do. Caesar and I packed up and headed home. This man has been haunting me. I don't think he's actually at my house, but I can't tell anymore. I live alone. It's just Caesar and I, and I see this man in my dreams, and when I wake up screaming, I look out my window, and there he is again, with that same posture and that same psychotic smile.